Hey guys, I'm going to be making a quick video on how to use the Aris Logics 5000 go to cross reference uh, setting. And the reason you would use this uh, setting is if you needed to find out where in the program any of these bits were being used, right? So you want to, I'll give you an example right now. So for example, I have this machine. This output says run mo uh, motor forward. It's not running. It's not running forward because the output is not on. I can see that there's logical continuity through this whole run except this IC started delay timer, right? So I want to know why this timer is not running, right? So it's an internal bit. It's a done bit. And what I can do is right click on the mouse and it says right here, go to cross reference for timer, uh, for the associate timer, right? So once you click that, it will open. What I want you to like realize here, when you go to the cross reference, there's destructive bit here. There's one that says yes, and then all of them, all the other ones say no. The one that says yes is the important one. That's the actual timer. So I want to go back to the timer and find out why that's not turning on. And then all the other ones are just done bits, as you can see here. They're just done bits that are associated to this timer. So that's why they say no. The one that says yes is at the actual timer which is the important one, which is the one that is actually writing to all of these bits. So I'll go back. I'll just click any, I won't click on the timer yet. I'll click on one, let's click on this one. And we're gonna go, I'll double click on it. As you can see, it's just, it's just a done bit right here, right? So it's, we're using a done bit to turn on other, other conveyors. So I'll, I'll go back to that. So all these are just different done bits used in other rungs, as you can see right here. But the important part is, all right, we, we go to the timer, double click on the timer. Now, right away, it just took me to the timer. I know that this timer is not being turned on because obviously there's there's a break in the continuity here. And if I wanted to turn this, uh, this conveyor on, I got to follow this. Like, where is this coming from? This is an internal bit. I can, if this internal bit is turned on, it will turn on the timer. The enable bit of this timer will then latch on and then turn on the, that machine after five second delay. So if I do the same thing again here, go to cross reference, and then the same thing right here, look, all, all of them say no for the destructive column, and there's one that says yes. The one that says yes is the important one. The one that's writing to this uh, OTE or output, and then it's an internal output. So this is that, uh, uh, start composite that we were just looking at and then in order to turn that on I would have to turn any of these uh, bits on right here for a moment and then it would turn that machine on that is the reason you would use that go to cross reference uh, setting and I hope that helped out this is like a, a really good troubleshooting uh, and diagnostic tool that any technician can use to just to follow logical continuity there's no programming if you could just do that that can aid a lot in troubleshooting a machine on why it's not running or why it's not turning off. Um, and I hope that helped out. Thanks for watching.